Good morning, my name is Kayla and I'm so honored to be with you for a few minutes this morning. You might hear the train going by. I'm at my sister and brother-in-law's house. And uh, for those of you that are fans of Lincoln, I wanted to show you Lincoln. Say hi, Bubba. <laughs> I am excited and um, sobered to be able to have a few moments this morning to share what I feel like the Lord's been speaking to me through the scriptures as well as my friends. And I just encourage you, if you're watching this right now, just give me the honor and take the time to watch the whole thing. It's only gonna be a couple minutes, but just take the time. So this week, my friend Anastasia, she posted on her stories on Instagram, a hilarious thing that then hit in a way that was so potent. So she was just chilling on the couch. She's just hanging out on the couch and she felt something in her eye and she tried to get it out herself. And so she's digging around in her eye and she realizes, man, there's an eyelash in my eye and I can't see it. But you know, she's comfortable on the couch. So she just wants, she's just trying to get it out on the couch and another minute goes by and she's poking herself and hurting herself. And then finally she's so like, okay. And she gets up and she goes to the mirror wow right she goes to the mirror and she she looks and she's able to so quickly pull the eyelash out of her eye without any issue because she could see it and she could see her eye and she could see the eyelash and it, it reminded me of the Sermon on the Mount and the Sermon on the Mount has kind of been where I'm camping right now it's kind of been my home the words of Jesus and so I want to read starting in the beginning of Matthew 7 do not judge so that you not, will not be judged. For in the way you judge, you will be judged. And for your standard of measure, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck that is in your brother's eye, but you do not notice the plank that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye and behold, a log is in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your eye and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. I also love it in the message. I've repicked up the message version um, since the passing of Eugene Peterson. It was my Bible in high school and so it's also been so uh, fresh and, and also nostalgic reading through things I had underlined then. So starting in seven. Do not pick on people, jump on their failures, criticize their faults, unless of course you want the same treatment. That critical spirit has a way of boomeranging. It's easy to see a smudge on your neighbor's face and be, be oblivious to the sneer on your own. Do you have the nerve to say, let me wash your face for you when your own face is distorted with contempt? It's this whole traveling roadshow mentally all over again, playing the holier than thou part instead of just living your part. Wipe that ugly sneer off your own face that you may be fit to offer a washcloth to someone else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to cry yet. There's a lot going on right now in our country and it's just the top layer of years and generations of wrongs and pain. And as I read these scriptures and as I heard Anastasia share about the eyelash in her eye earlier this week, it made me realize we come out swinging for our own political views, even our own religious views in posting scripture. And I love scripture, but I wonder if right now is not the time. I wonder if now is not the time to, to share. And, I, and I'm, a, I'm a hypocrite even in sharing this moment. I don't know how it's gonna come out, but, but, but what if it's time for us to go to look in the mirror? 
It's so easy to push share and I've shared things and I've said things and I'm by no meaning saying stay silent. I think we need to speak up and stand for the oppressed across all borders. And right now that means saying I stand and I love and I see you as the black community and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for so long I was focused on specks in your eye and in others eye and in the, my, my dog is, is chasing a cat. Okay. I was so focused on specks that I missed the fact that there's a log in my own eye. And personally, I, this week, I took time to just say, God, like the prayer of David is more, it's, it's more important than ever right now. Because the reality is, it's not new. Nothing new under the sun. Cain and Abel and Isaac and Ishmael, and you look through scriptures, and there's race and family wars and feuds and violence. And I look in the mirror and I say, God, search me and know me. Would you see if there's any wicked way in me? Would you lead me in the way everlasting? And the way everlasting, yes, what, what you're saying and, and what so many of us are crying, yes, there's, there's an everlasting kingdom where there's no Jew or Greek or, or slave or free. There's, there's an everlasting kingdom of God where, where there's no tears anymore, where there's no pain anymore. Yes, yes, yes. And so in, in, in order to get there and to live in light of eternity, I want to encourage you that right now, is our moment to listen. Right now is our moment to lean in. I've had countless conversations over the last week that have just cut me to the core. And I'm saying this to be a bridge because I think it's, it's so easy to not know what we don't know. And sometimes I've been walking around when I have something stuck in my teeth and I'm like, no one told me. And if I would have just taken time in front of the mirror, I could have taken it out myself. And so I wonder if right now is the moment across all boards, all, all realms for us to take time in front of the mirror, for us to take time in front of um, the Lord and saying, Holy Spirit, would you speak to me? Would you reveal where there's prejudice in my own heart? Would you reveal where there's, there's anger in my own heart? And then to lean in and to ask questions and to listen and to speak love and to speak truth and, and, and to say so clearly, I see you're hurting and I know I don't understand your pain. When you're ready and, 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 and when you want to talk about it, I'm here. And if not, I'm going to do my due diligence to read. I'm going to do my due diligence to learn about a pain that I understand that I will never understand. But I'm here. And I'm with you. And that this scripture of don't judge so that you'll be judged takes all the politics out, takes all of the, the separation out. And it says, God, not, not, not my will, but yours be done. That I would look and walk in the shoes of someone. Ruby Bridges is only 65 years old. I'm not saying this to guilt trip us. I have been grieved. I have been so grieved by the response on all sides. But I can take responsibility for my response and say, is there, is there a speck? Is there a log in my eye? And I'm looking at the speck in another's. So Holy Spirit, we ask right now that you'd reveal your heart. I thank you that you love the black community. I thank you that you love police officers. I thank you that you love our families and our, our church family. I thank you that you, you, you loved us so much that you came and you died and you died a death that you did not deserve. And you were blamed for things that you did not do. And you took the weight of sin and iniquity and racism and judgment on your shoulders and you nailed it to the cross and so lord would we walk in your footsteps to reach out and to understand and to listen and to ask questions and to stand up for the oppressed and to look in the mirror and take a moment to say search me god know me is there any wicked way in me lead me in the way everlasting 
Thank you for listening, praying for you guys, praying for um, the entire black community, praying for our entire community in Olathe and through Kansas City, praying for peace and real real peace and real shalom and lasting unity in this moment. Let's not be afraid to look ourselves in the face and, and, and ask the Lord to wipe, wipe off the sneers and the smudges and the specks.